All right, what is going on guys? We are back with another YouTube video and today we're gonna be testing TikTok life hacks. You guys loved it when I did this last time and I got a whole bunch of new hacks that nobody's ever done before. Like nobody's ever tried these before to see if they actually work and some of them are a little bit interesting. But before we get into that, I need you guys to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I post because I do post. A lot and also I just posted this really cool picture on my Instagram I'm gonna be picking a random person that comments that saved there from YouTube and I'll shout them out in the next video It's literally that simple. All right, and it's time for the first hack So let's check out the first TikTok sneaker life hack. This one is a little bit wild I'm, I, I don't know how this is gonna work. I hope it works, but all right, let's get into it Okay, all right, so I'm probably gonna have to change the music on that because I don't want to get copyrighted But basically we're gonna be using McDonald's Sprite to clean our sneakers and apparently it works better than any sneaker cleaner I don't know exactly, but we're gonna try bingo. Yeah, can I get a large Sprite? Extra spicy. All right, so we have our beater sneakers right here We have this towel that I strictly only use for sneaker cleaning, all right? So it's kind of dirty, but I literally only use this to clean all my shoes, so we're all good. And then we have the McDonald's Sprite, okay? And just to prove to you guys that it is a McDonald's Sprite, okay? There's no sneaker cleaner, there's no rejuvenator in here, all right? It's a real McDonald's Sprite. Yep, spicy. Literally, I'm just gonna get a brush and we're gonna dip the brush in the McDonald's Sprite and I guess try to clean it. Can you see how dirty these are on the camera? Like these things are, are beat up. These are my beaters, the Jim Red ones and they need a good clean. Hopefully the Sprite will actually do something, I guess. I don't know. And then I have brush right here. One more drink of our uh, McDonald's Sprite here. Here we go. We're gonna just, I guess, dip it in the Sprite. And then uh, get to cleaning, I guess. Do you guys see all the dirt? Like, I don't know if it's the actual, like, Sprite doing it, or if these are just actually that dirty. Gonna get in on the sole, too. This Sprite is gonna be nasty by the time we're done. Doing it for the life hacks, baby. Can you see that toe box? Look at that. All right, we're gonna... Uh, it's already getting, like, sticky. I guess I didn't really think about the whole like stickiness, but we're gonna do a little before and after. All that dirt and grime. We are done. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is wet. I really hope this doesn't like hurt the leather. I mean like obviously it's gonna be kind of sticky, but I hope it doesn't like hurt the leather. Here we go. Here's the end result. Does Sprite clean your sneakers better than an actual cleaner? I mean, honestly, by looking at it, it is cleaner, yes. Did it work? Yes, but now my shoes are kind of sticky and I can feel like in the like the leather is still soaked in Sprite So I don't know if that's like a good thing a bad thing, but did it work? Yes, would I recommend it? Probably not all right, so for our second life hack we're gonna be trying. I haven't seen this one before Hopefully it works and I don't just ruin some shoes, but all right, let's get into it So basically what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking a frayed shoelace, we're gonna tape it and then put a straw over it, cut it and then use a lighter and it'll be like an, right? Aglet? Does that make sense? A -G -E -T, don't forget it. Yeah, it's gonna be like pretty much a homemade aglet that apparently is gonna function just fine. So let's try it. Okay, so I actually don't have any shoelaces that are already framed, so I'm gonna be cutting these to try it out. So hopefully it works. If not, I'm gonna be out a pair of laces for my St. John jump. Also, these laces are kind of gross anyway, so it doesn't matter. All right, so now we need to like fray it out a little bit. 
RIP. I've never like purposely tried to fray out like a shoelace. All right, take a look at that. That's pretty frayed out if you ask me, all right? Supposedly, we just tape it up, slide a straw on it, cut the straw, light it. Ah. Hopefully it works. All I have is packing tape, so that's hopefully gonna have to do the job right here. Tape this. Oh gosh, this is already like, oh no. I'm trying to make it like small enough. This is already like bad. This is not, okay, well. All right, so we're gonna do round two. Uh, I completely like botched that really bad. So hopefully it can kind of like, huh, and then. I'm trying to be like very gentle here. Okay, that looks good. That looks a lot better. And then we cut off the access. It looks just like how she did it. So we're gonna cut off the access here. Boom, that's solid, right? Okay, perfect. Now we are going to, I literally bought a whole pack of straws, a whole 100 pack, literally just for to use one single straw. And then apparent, oh, it's a bendy straw. Uh, okay. This somehow has to fit over the, they made it seem like it was super easy. Okay, so we're sliding the straw over, boom. Okay, so we're in. Now, now I don't know where the shoelace stops. Bruh. Boom. Okay, now we have our aglet. We're, we're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere. All right, so now we're going to be lighting this up so it'll kind of shrink, hopefully. Uh, I'm not gonna put the flame on YouTube because I don't wanna get demonetized, but I'm gonna just do it right here, I guess. Hopefully my fire alarm doesn't go off too. That would be terrible. It's not really doing anything. All right, I'm gonna try it on my balcony and we'll come right back. Okay, so we... <laughs> We tried. This one was definitely cap. Like there's no way, there is no way that first try, they were just like done. Like boom, solid, you gotta aggle it now. No, that's cap. This is not, okay. You wanna see what ours looks like? Show it, show. Like bruh, what is that? We left a burn mark on, like bro, there is no way, no actual way that they like just, just, cranked it out. All right, so this one was definitely cap, a bust, whatever you wanna call it. This one, I literally just, I ruined a pair of laces and we both tried, me and Callie, and it, it just looks like crap, I don't know. Like, it just, it's terrible, I would never use this. I would, not even if I was stranded in the Sahara Desert, would I even think about putting a straw on and like, no bro, we're done. All right, next, next hack. Wait, wait, hold on, actually. Okay, just for fun, we're gonna try to put it through the little lace hole. Like, bro, that ain't, that, that ain't gonna happen, G. Like, dude, I don't know who on five minute crafts or whatever thought this is gonna, this ain't working, dog. Like, I have to literally chop this off just for it to go back through. Down here, we're done, we're done. <laughs> So I bought a brand new pack of erasers for this. I don't remember the last time I've actually used like a school eraser before. Apparently a white eraser, specifically a white one, will take out scuffs on your Jordan 1s because they get scuffs along the midsole. I don't know if you can see this one right here, but we're gonna be testing it on a small little scuff first and then hopefully you can see it on like a bigger, deeper scuff. Okay, and I specifically did this on a Jordan 1 with a white midsole and not a cream midsole because I don't know if it'll take the cream off the midsole or mess anything up, I don't know. All right, so we got our eraser out of the package after a long five minutes, but we're gonna be trying it right here. Okay, so we're gonna try to take this little black scuff out right here with our eraser. So I guess we just like go in. I'm kind of scared. All right, I guess we just go in. I mean, it's not really doing much, like, at all. I mean, it's lightening it, but it's not, like, taking it out. I mean, it's kind of going away. I don't know if this is rubber or eraser that's coming off. Hopefully it's not the rubber, uh, the sole of my shoe. I mean, kind of worked. Like, it's still there a little bit, but it got the job done. I mean, yeah, it worked. It worked. Okay, we're gonna try it on another pair too. All right, so we worked on the little scuff. We're gonna try it on a bigger scuff, and this one is kind of like green too. I don't know if it's from walking in like fresh grass, but it's also a scuff and it's kind of green, so we're gonna try it. All right, so right here on this area, we're gonna see if we can brighten it up with just a regular school eraser. I mean, it's lightening it, but it's not really like taking it out. Dude, I'm going in on this eraser. I mean, 
Yeah, I would say it worked. Look, it's gone. Ooh, <laughs> it's gone. This little spot right here, done. I mean, it works, but it doesn't take it all the way out. Okay, so I guess this one worked. Yes, if I had to rate it out of 10, I would give it like a seven. Uh, it didn't work as well as shown, but I mean, it kind of gets the job done. I guess if you don't have like a wipe, if you just randomly have an eraser in your pocket, I don't know, It. I guess it worked. Okay, I'm trying to clean this up. You can't just like wipe it up with your hands. Fun fact, uh, when I was in like elementary school, there was this kid that would like snort eraser shavings. It was just like one kid. Like everybody after class, like after their whole like class period, they would like save their eraser shavings and dude would just like snort it. I don't, I don't know, kind of a weird story, but it actually happened. All right, that is pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I tried to find some life hack videos that nobody's ever done before because there's a lot of sneaker YouTubers who will just kind of do the same videos over and over. I kind of wanted like something a little bit different. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, one last thing, I will be at SneakerCon LA. So if you are in the LA area, California area, pull up SneakerCon LA. Your boy's gonna be there. Come say what's up. And that being said, I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Peace. I got a racer in my nose. Duh.